I'm in the biggest Middle East business aviation show. Now there's so many, so many top of the line, brand new business jet behind me. I'm gonna take you for a tour, see which plane you like and which plane you might want to buy. So guys, I'm inside a G500. This is the latest Gulfstream airplane. It's very comfortable. It's got a, this mid cabin. And you know, Gulfstream's trademark to me is the huge round window here. The oval shaped round window. It's just huge. And you know, one window of this is equivalent to five or six tiny little window. Man, this is class. This is like the song, like Gulfstream G5. One of the most technology advanced cockpit in the world right now, the G500 Gulfstream. Hi, Captain Brian. So, Tell me what is so advanced in the G500? Well, there's three tip, three main technologies that we put into this uh, flight deck. The active side stick controllers, the touch screen controllers. A touch screen controller. And, and then the DCN, the data concentration network, which is, a w which is the way that we pass information in this airplane. Oh, yeah. So now, when I move my one around, your one's moving around as well. Now there's no mechanical connection there. That's all electronics. So when you move yours, go ahead and move it and I push on you, you can feel yep. me fighting you. Right? I'm feeling, yep, I felt how you're moving on it. I can feel it, yeah. Now there's no mechanical connection, that's all electronics that make that happen. And it's a feedback mechanism that happens with the pilot. So in other words, if you're flying the airplane, I can feel that you're flying the airplane. If the airplane is slowing down on trim and the nose gets heavy, the airplane will provide you feedback. So the stick goes forward and you actually feel the airplane's nose getting heavy. Thanks. This is on the G500 and the G600. The, the G7 family is the only airplane, the only business airplane in the world that has these, this, this technology. Wow. Three different types of touchscreen technologies in the flight deck. There's the touchscreen controllers, there's the standbys, and then there's the overheads. All of them work on resistive technology that allows us to be very, very precise and get feedback to the pilot about what you touched. And in turbulence, because you can touch and grab onto the side stick or grab onto the touch screen here, you can very accurately be able to maneuver your thumb around even in a turbulent situation in the airplane. Everything in this cockpit looks like it's touch screen enabled That's and turbulence resistant That's on the touch screen. This and is amazing. Only, and not only that, but the touch screens, because we put this technology in, we've reduced the number of mechanical switches by 70% in the airplane. Exactly, it's so clean, the design of this carpet. Brian, tell me how high the ceiling cruising on the G500 is. The initial cruising altitude is 41,000, flight level 410, uh, uh -huh. but the max uh, cruising altitude is flight level 510. Oh, it can go up to 51,000 yes, feet. 51,000 feet. And what's the speed of the cruising? The uh, long range cruise is 0.85, but we normally cruise at 0.90. Oh my god, this is fast. 0.90. 9 tenths of speed of sound. 9 tenths of speed of sound. When we go places, we'd like to go places fast and high. Guys, welcome on board the Gulfstream G650ER. This is their flagship aircraft. Coming in on board, the first one you see a galley, you see nice microwave, oven, everything is nice. Here, this is um, the first zone. This is a bit different. This is all electric operating chairs. You can recline and, oh, you can come up. Everything's electric operating. The second zone, we have a nice sofa here and a nice TV to look out. Again, it has this trademark see how big this Gulfstream window is. Okay, coming on to the third cabin here. This is a really close, intimate cabin. You have, you know, nice dining lounge chairs here. You can sit with your buddy and having dining and conference. Beautiful. And that's not it, there's more to come. Here, there's another little very quiet, confined area. There's more lounging area. So you can also sit here, read a book, and look out to the beautiful window when flying at 50,000 feet. So life is very different at private jet. This airplane is the best longest range Gulfstream on offer at the moment. I was told it just broke a record 
when it flew from New York to Dubai in just 11 hours and 2 minutes, cruising at Mach 0.90. Guys, do you like the Gulf Stream? Behind me is the ACJ Airbus Copper Jet, the A319. So let's go check it out. Please come with me as we take a trip into another world. So welcome to the widest and tallest cabin in the business jet world. My name's David Vailupille and I'm Marketing Director for Airbus Corporate Jets. And what you're seeing here is a better way to fly. I had the chance to fly with a billionaire, his family and his friends. We were about 15 people and his comment to me was during and after the flight, it's a very different way to fly because in a traditional business jet, you tend to take your seat and you stay in it because it's awkward to move around. But in an aircraft like an Airbus corporate jet, you can get up, you can go and talk to a group of people there, you can come back and talk to someone else here. It's the difference between flying and living in an aircraft. I am so impressed, you know, the ceiling is so tall. I feel like a flying palace here. You're so right, David. So this is the, the middle of the aircraft, and as you can see, it's set out for dining. We can actually extend the table all the way across. We can situation. have converted, we can have two dining table, yeah. four people on each side, so we can have eight yeah. people dining together. Exactly. Now look at this model here, 1980 Neo. What we're doing with the Neo stands for new engine Thank option. You. Thank you. We're putting larger engines on the aircraft and larger engines are more efficient because what you're doing is taking in a mass of air mm -hmm. and throwing it out the back less quickly than smaller diameter engines. And because you're throwing it out the back less quickly, you're throwing away less energy, and that is a direct saving in fuel of about 12%. Add these sharklets at the wingtips, and it's a 15% fuel saving, wow. which is great for airlines, but in the world of business jets, what that means is you can fly farther. So you can have this great cabin and fly even more places in the world non-stop. Now the great thing about this cabin is that it doesn't have to cost you more than a traditional business jet. Really? What because do you mean by that? Can you explain to me about that? An Abbas corporate jet burns a little bit more fuel than a traditional business jet costs a little bit more in landing and navigation charges but because of our airliner heritage we can offer lower maintenance costs and lower training costs so overall you can have this great comfort for about the same operating cost as a traditional business jet guys that tour is not finished because what's an executive jet without a private bedroom this is it this is a total private bedroom here Look at all this beautiful total private bedroom here. Oh, it's just so comfortable on the bed. It's truly like feel like a cloud nine. So saving the best to the last is the private bathroom on the 319 ACJ. Guys, there's also a private shower. So much space here. You can even hide here in the bathroom. I want to see the shower, how it is. Guys, it is really good. Look. I'm about six foot or tall. This shower is taller than six foot. The water should come directly on top of me. Let's see how it goes. Oh, shit. <laughs> the water really came out. Oh my God. So there is water even it's on a static display. I got wet again. So there you go. That's my Airbus shower ACJ. I only got 160 euro. Don't have any more money. So I can only have a head shower. Now, I like this light here. For some reason, there's always something special about toilets in the sky. I don't know what it is. Maybe the lighting is so good. It's good for a selfie, I guess. I actually knew David since 2005. I remember that date. It was 27 April 2005. That day was the first time the A380 Super Jumbo took off to the sky. It's maiden departure from Toulouse. David invited me to go inside the Airbus premises. So I was like a kid in a candy store. And that was the day to remember in my life. And I'm really happy to meet you today again, David. 
Good to see you as well, Sam. I'm gonna ask you one more thing. That's the most important thing, the price tag. What is the typical price tag or listed price of the ACJ cost? You'd be looking at something like 80 to 90 million dollars for an ACJ 320 family aircraft, including a VIP cabin. That's a, an investment which will not only serve you well while you're flying in it, but will also be something that has retained its value over time. This is a common Airbus cockpit of the A320, A319 family. Does the ACJ has a longer range than the passenger version of A319? Yes, absolutely. We put extra fuel tanks in the cargo hold uh -huh. and that gives us the ability to fly about 15 hours in an ACJ 319neo. This is the Airbus common cockpit, so we've got the side stick controllers. They free up visibility of the front and so you can pull out the table and that's useful for your paperwork as yeah. well as your lunch. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. The model of the type is called Sukhoi RRJ95. It's even got an MSN number here, 95060, owned by Comlux. This is, comes out very well. What about the back? Oh, doesn't recline. Okay, maybe that's the way it doesn't recline, it's broken. Okay. This display is all in English. Yeah. All the display, it's not in Russian, it's in English. No, no, so everything, everything in English. Everything is in English. Brake, uh, flaps, uh, the, the gear, landing gear. Yeah. Brake. Very nice. And Captain, how high the ceiling this airplane can fly? The SSJ? Level 400. Level 400. Level 400. And what is the speed, typical speed? 0.8. Mark 0.8. I'm just going inside this Boeing 757-200. This airplane is for sale. Well, this 757 seems to have an upgraded avionics and uh, they have this digital display instead of two little small ones. They have a large screen display. It makes it look like a more than 737 NG. Guys, the 757 has so many compartments. Here's the bedroom compartment. Let's check it out. Shade. Oh, look at this. You got everything in one touch controller. And then you got the shades down. I'm going to check out the toilet here. Look at this. This is like a train cabin. Wow. Facing each other. They can get very comfy. You can lay on the sofa as well. Very amazing. The beans are here. Oh my gosh. Something just drop out of bin. Maybe this is something to take home with. This is another compartment here. It's got a table layout. Big space. Brilliant. Oh, amazing. Double shape. So guys, behind me in the show here is exciting. It's one of the biggest mock-up of business jet. I know you told me this is a mock-up outside, but it feels like a complete plane inside. I'm it's pretty you. impressive, Sam. Actually, you know what? The wonderful thing about the mock-up is that it has all the characteristics of the actual aircraft. And the 7500 I heard from you and saw the line down there is the flagship of Bombardier. It is. The largest aircraft that flies, uh -huh. business aircraft that flies, uh, has an exceptional range. You can go fly anywhere in in the world with just one stop. The window just keeps getting bigger and bigger, the natural lighting, beautiful. Is this the real window size what on you, the real plane? Absolutely, what you see in the mock-up is exactly the configuration in the in the actual aircraft. This oh, is this way. is the home in this side. Exactly, yeah, this is your entertainment zone. So as right. you can see, there's a couch, there's a beautiful television set, a large credenza. You feel like you're watching uh -huh. the game in your home. Library. library, flying library. This is so exactly. cute. Let me try it. This is your home in the sky. There you oh, go. Oh, very comfortable. This feels like a full bed. The 7500 enables you uh -huh. to go to that meeting refreshed. There's a lot of people have an extra shower in the aircraft. You know my dream is, Matthew, is to lay comfortably flying at 50,000 feet and look out the sky. You can have everything. 
That was the biggest bombardier and very incredible. Looking forward to his first flight and to enter the service. Saving the best to the last. The last one to show, it is VistaJet. This is a beautiful bombardier Global Express 6000. Hi. Hi. Can you show me the cabin, please? Sure, welcome on board. Let okay. me show you around. Can we offer you anything to drink? Yeah, maybe some water would be nice. Some water, still yeah. sparkling. Yeah, uh, sparkling water. Sparkling, yeah. sure. I'll be right back. Oh, this is too nice. Like, would you like me to get the table out for you? Yeah, please. Wow. You know, I like this table because you can see yourself. It's like a mirror. <laughs> I like the carpet. You know, it come in. It feels very warm, very European as well. I think. This like is a, like a reading corner, right? Selection of reading our corner. newspapers, magazines. I like this little single seater here because you face reverse and see the winglets outside and a uh, nice one. Do you like to watch a movie on our iPad? So they're actually now showing how to convert this four seat berth into a flatbed here. So it's very interesting. I've never seen how they do it. Here, there's a gap here in the we middle. We have a belly mattress so it inflates uh -huh. in the middle more. So you have a mattress on top mm -hmm. and so this can be fully flat seats. Excellent. Even like this is pretty comfy. I've never Perfect. seen how this table get lifted up and converted. So let me help you. Let's do this together. So we're gonna sure. lift this up. Oh, nice. There you go. Uh -huh. And then we just unfold oh, the. Just uh, unfold, and that's it. The table here. Uh, move the seat around. Oh, this so one. So you can have actually five guests sitting in this area, which is really great if you're traveling in groups. You make such great videos. I've seen so many of them. Really. Oh, really thank you, job. thank you. It's I true. want to showcase the best of this aviation to all the viewers. I look out of the window and I'm like. That must be Sanj. I have to go. Oh my god. Check, oh my god. You know? <laughs> I really hope that, you know, one day I can buy a small, small, tiny <laughs> private jet. I came here to shopping to look for the private jet. <laughs> and one day I can buy a second hand used private jet to fly all my followers. And this is a true statement. And I know I'm being recorded right now. And <laughs> This is my next level goal. Hopefully in the 10 years I can make my goal. Thank you very much for showing me the jets. Thank you. So guys, this is the end of the Miba show. I've been to so many beautiful jets. I hope you like the program. Thank you very much. See you. We have the pleasure to have him with us on board. And Thank you. Is, and this is going to be the, just the start and we'll go forward after, after, after. After, Thank after, you. After. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank oh my God. <laughs> <laughs>